Thank you, thank you very much, uh, John Herman, for that wonderful uh, video that we just watched. Um, in that in that light, I would like to introduce the artists now that I believe that a lot of people have uh, are watching on YouTube and also uh, on Zoom, and we are actually struggling to stream to Facebook. So those who want to watch on Facebook should really stay tuned and. The technical team is working on sending the video to Facebook. Um, yeah.
So sorry, we are extremely battling with our internet from Ghana here today. And so we will be going on and off, but in case of John will take control and be sharing his story uh, about the, the works that he does. So I, I should just quickly introduce the artist so that we can go ahead. Um, okay, so just a short bio about John. So John Herman is a German-based self-taught artist, activist. He artistically explored themes of war and peace, visualist, visual sociology, and sociopolitical communication across a rich variety of media. From performances to video, to installations, to photography, yet John Herman cryptically receives the title artist his practice is fed by the extreme experiences of war when he was fighting as a volunteer soldier alongside global freedom movement in Africa and Middle East. In the global music market, he has worked as an artist manager, tour manager, and curator for world music concerts, series that focus on the Middle East music. Where he also lived, Decades since, well, he also lived decades. And since 2018, he has been working as advertising art director at the International Theater in Frankfurt, Germany, and as a financial director at the Dina 13 Dance Company, a mixed able contemporary dance company in Cologne, Germany. Aside from being one of the artists in residence PR 2019, John Herman has been one of our regular supporters, donors, and patrons to Purple Crate International Artist Residency. Today, we are so privileged and honored to listen to John Herman as he talks about his performances, military background, activism, art, survival, collaboration, bond, and life. So um, those who have already wa watched the first video, which was Blood on My Shoulders, I will be giving the platform to John Herman to briefly say something about himself and talk about this film, after which we would navigate to a series of images that John wants to share from his background from literary um, activism. Thank you, John Herman. You are once again welcome. Thank you for having me here. Uh, uh, welcome to everyone uh, who is joining us uh, in the moment. It's an honor and a pleasure uh, uh, to be in part of this uh, art talk. Uh, um, as uh, uh, all of you has listened that uh, uh, I'm born in 1968. Uh, I'm a human being as everyone and I am an art activist. Um, of course, uh, everyone has a story to tell, everybody has a burden uh, uh, to carry. So uh, this is uh, a quite uh, normal thing what uh, uh, everyone on this planet have to share. Uh, some of us more, some of uh, uh, us uh, uh, less. But uh, last but not least, uh, 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 there is a bond in everything. There is a bond to realities and a bond also to history. And uh, when it comes to my practice, uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, those works uh, can't be understand maybe uh, 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 about the background if you don't know maybe uh, a little, uh, a little less more about my own background. Um, as everyone, no one uh, 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 has been born as an artist. Uh, maybe uh, all of uh, 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 mankind or the human beings have uh, 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 artisan impressions and uh, it's in everyone uh, you can see this. So, uh, the thing is that uh, uh, I think uh, uh, I grown, uh, uh, yeah, I raised up uh, in a social and economical uh, uh, environment, which was uh, uh, deeply impressed of uh, uh, the political and uh, situation uh, in this time. And when uh, uh, 
I left my childhood and became something like a young guy. So uh, and opened my eyes uh, uh, around of me. So uh, yeah, uh, under a really uh, uh, pressure of the society for being not uh, 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 binary or uh, uh, being the part what uh, was demanded. Uh, uh, yes, of course, this uh, 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 brought me directly also to question uh, the things what uh, uh, was around me. I started uh, as a musician and uh, because of the political situation and this time in Germany where the fascist was on the streets hunting uh, 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 LGBTQ people, people what uh, uh, hasn't the, uh, the shape like long hair or uh, had his own style, own uh, lifestyle, uh, all the things what was not conform to the mainstream uh, uh, was restricted in this way and uh, a lot of people uh, started to beat and also these people in the street so uh, we started uh, uh, to organize ourselves uh, in anti-fascist uh, defense units and this was maybe also the start uh, uh, where we got co uh, in contact uh, uh, maybe with violence as a tool of defense and uh, as i told uh, yeah, it was also a time where the political confrontation of the systems or inside of a society, uh, uh, and in this point, uh, the German society, where uh, the contradictionary points was really hard. So uh, you was forced to have a stand and you was forced uh, uh, to fight for your own. And uh, if you understand uh, that you can't just lose uh, 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 lose if you don't organize yourself. So uh, I became very early. Instead of that, it was a musician. Uh, uh, I had uh, uh, I started also as a, a, a hobby ballet dancer, and uh, was writing poems and uh, this two kind of things. So uh, uh, last but not least, uh, uh, it it maybe it's a really long story but uh, it brought me uh, uh, to the point that i uh, uh, one time i uh, changed my drumsticks uh, uh, into another tool and it was a kalashnikov and uh, uh, yeah and yeah I, and because uh, today maybe it's not very not so understandable um, why i have chosen this way but uh, 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 under the light and uh, with the few on, in this time, uh, it was one option. And for me, uh, it was an option what uh, uh, has been sound, uh, sounded very logical. Uh, I became a part of uh, uh, the illegal communist party. Uh, we organized our, uh, ourselves in, um, uh, in illegal uh, uh, militant groups in the underground. Uh, uh, we was doing uh, uh, armed politics and uh, uh, was involved in a lot of fights and uh, uh, conflicts, inner conflicts of a society. And uh, yeah, and this has been brought me uh, to the point also to join, uh, uh, we call this, uh, it was the proletarian internationalism. It's a term coming from a Marxist uh, theory, even though I was uh, uh, obviously an, uh, uh, more an anarchist than a an Marxist. So um, I got infected and, uh, 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 or, yeah, impressed. And also, uh, it was this, uh, uh, this kind of things that step by step uh, I understood uh, uh, I want to do more. And, and I joined, uh, uh, yeah. Um, global, uh, 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 global freedom movement, uh, men's in, um, in Africa and Middle East, uh, like uh, Palestine, like in Kurdistan, like in, uh, 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 in uh, Zimbabwe. It was a time, the late time of uh, the apartheid, uh, this uh, racist regime in South, uh, South Africa. And uh, much more stories more what I want uh, 
to go too much deep uh, 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 into rolling into the deep because of a security reason and uh, uh, this maybe can everyone understand so um, <laughs> Now, uh, I make a time warp uh, to the future. It was uh, not the future, it was uh, uh, the nearest future, uh, the nearest past, sorry, not future, the nearest past. Uh, uh, when I, uh, I was fighting in the, uh, in the, uh, uh, in the Kurdish mountains uh, alongside uh, uh, the Kurdish guerrilla uh, uh, who was fighting for independence in the beginning, later for democratic rights and human rights uh, 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 since decades. And uh, I became a part of this struggle and, uh, uh, and uh, I was for a really long time part of this struggle. Just as I spent years in the mountains, into the wild. And yeah, uh, and I got wounded uh, in a heavy clash uh, between guerrilla fighters and uh, uh, Turkish security forces uh, in 98. And uh, in the result of this wounding, uh, uh, I lost my leg. And uh, with this point, uh, with this fact, uh, my military career has found an end. And I was forced uh, uh, to find a way to come back to Europe and uh, uh, was continuing my uh, activities, my uh, activist activities inside, uh, inside the Kurdish movement uh, uh, as a part of uh, the diplomatic corp where, uh, where I was working uh, 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 a diplomacy diplomacy as a diplomat for the Kurdish cause and uh, human rights issues uh, related to the Middle East. And uh, the, the parliaments or uh, the European Parliament and uh, the, Europe, uh, the Council of Europe uh, uh, was the field where I was uh, fighting in a different way. Since two I did this uh, uh, till uh, 2008, where I found uh, 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 something much more interesting, maybe, because uh, 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 we founded an, a publishing house, and uh, beside of this, uh, we founded also a, a music label. And this uh, uh, was really, really like a brain shot. It was really something wow. and. Uh, and I felt that uh, this is the place w uh, where I want to be. I want to be, and uh, I started uh, uh, to reclaim my, uh, uh, yeah, all the things, uh, uh, what I was uh, 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 maybe not doing for so many years. And uh, uh, I got focused uh, on art, on music. And after a while, I started to do my own business. And I mean, I started uh, uh, because it was not enough just uh, uh, to create uh, spaces of uh, where uh, the audience and the artists uh, 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 having their encounter and uh, or create uh, uh, other spaces where new worlds uh, 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 can be uh, uh, erased. No, um, last but not least, since years, I'm focused on uh, especially um, on uh, performance art and... Uh, so, sorry, sorry, to, sorry to interrupt, but do you have some images from the military background that you can share with yeah, us? Yeah, uh, I can do this. Just a second. Just a second. Uh, okay. okay. Yeah. So it would be nice uh, for us to see what happened and and even to see just your transition just see how you were looking like in in this in this period yeah i think yeah. you you also mentioned you joined uh, the you joined the freedom fighters around 83 um when i was just 2 years so yeah it's quite it's quite interesting to see the way you look between this period and the way you are looking today and to compare and to look through the transition as a military person into an activist okay um just a second just a second uh, uh yeah this is a very old picture uh, uh 
this was uh, 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 one of these groups of these anti-fascist uh, uh, militant um, uh, uh, defense units, uh, which was fighting against uh, racists and uh, uh, fascists, uh, uh, even uh, uh, and even uh, uh, with uh, in uh, with an, in an armed way and to defend uh, uh, defense ourselves and uh, uh, other people. Uh, into the streets uh, uh, against the fascist attacks in this time. So, uh, and I'm the guy here, the guy with the gun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, but uh, 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 there's a, uh, there uh, there was always um, a slogan or something I promoted that uh, all cops are bastards. Uh, a good AC ACB. And uh, but not all cops were bastards, as you can see this. So this uh, was a funny shot uh, during a manifestation. Uh, a manifestation, uh, uh, I think, uh, it was something like uh, uh, later, maybe 80, 85, 86. This was after an action where I got detained. I was uh, after then one two uh, one two months uh, 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 in prison and then they left me. So and uh, now I'm jumping uh, I'm jumping jumping to another place when I uh, uh, was part uh, uh, because of security reasons I can't share so much but uh, the things what uh, is possible also to share some uh, pictures from here. It, uh, this was uh, ninety three. In the Kurdish mountains. Uh, beside of me, it was a very lovely uh, comrade person, uh, unfortunately, uh, he has fallen during the war. This is another picture where I visited uh, uh, a guerrilla hospital. So this was a hospital. And there were some wow. comrades uh, 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 were on wounded, so I, uh, I walked uh, for four hours just to visit the friends in this time. This is a picture which I also shared on social media just uh, to make uh, it understandable where I'm coming from. Uh, it was taken from a journalist from a uh, Norwegian and because uh, we had uh, something like an interview and then uh, um, the aircraft was coming and bombing and shelling everywhere. And uh, uh, this, uh, uh, he shot during uh, these heavy uh, bombings uh, uh, in, the, uh, in the surroundings of us. This was in the earlier years. Uh, 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 when I was, um, it's in Syria and Damascus in this time. And uh, I was for some months though, it's, I don't know uh, if you can see say this, but uh, it's a kind of bodyguardism, uh, was a bodyguard of uh, uh, the Christian leader here in the background, who was called Abdullah Chalam. This was uh, 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 this was during and on the officers uh, officers academy uh, when I was uh, playing mandarmonica, was playing music and uh, uh, the guys never uh, uh, never hear the instrument like this, so it was very funny uh, uh, and we had a lot of uh, uh, fun. This was in Lipnan. It was 95, uh, uh, also uh, in the months, but in the uh, yeah, uh, uh, in the springtime. So you can see this uh, with the vegetation around. This was in the same time, uh, unfortunately, uh, no one of this picture, uh, exceptional of me, uh, is alive. The same here, very young, beautiful people. This was uh, during uh, 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 my education as an officer and commander. I, I'm this guy, very young. 
and this is 98, uh, just uh, some months before, uh, uh, some months before I got wounded uh, uh, at the end of the year. This is a, a, a picture, an image uh, uh, after I, I left the mountains. It was a really horrible trip uh, to come from the mountains to a hospital like this. I was 10 days onto the way with a fresh amputated um, amputated uh, leg and uh, every uh, yeah every um, step of the donkey where it was carrying me all those days and also the horses uh, was like a hit on it and uh, yeah it was very, very I thought that uh, uh, the surgery was the torture but uh, uh, I was wrong uh, uh, the, the real torture started after during all this horrible trip but uh, uh, as you can see I survived so and this was uh, 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 one day after my surgery and uh, the final surgery and amputation of my leg this was also some days later This is a picture when I uh, uh, visited uh, the comrades in the mountains 2010 for the last time. So uh, it's uh, 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 on the side of uh, the Kurdish uh, part of Iraq. And this is the chief com uh, uh, commander in chief uh, uh, of the rural um, uh, guerrilla army, the Kurdish guerrilla army was the, the main commander. And this is the same time uh, when I was just discussing and uh, yeah, discussing with some comrades during the night in a cave. Yeah. And this is where, uh, 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 when I visited uh, uh, Matur uh, 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 Cemetery, cemetery uh, just to visit. Uh, 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 because I heard about uh, the loss of two uh, uh, very lovely comrades and I wanted uh, uh, just to visit uh, their grave. So, yeah. Yeah, thank you very much for that brief, uh, Jenny, that you have taken us through uh, your images that we have seen, how um, your military background was. Uh, my question now is is to these pictures and the earlier film that we watched. You can you can still be screening the film and talk about it anyway. You can put it on screen and talk about it. So the um, what is what what would you say was the main calling that that moved you from military background into performance practice, and how did you come to this particular work called Blood on My Shoulders? What is the relationship between this and your military background? Um, maybe, uh, 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 maybe it should be uh, sounding very strange to you guys uh, that uh, uh, if I uh, argue in this way that uh, even uh, war is uh, have its own performative uh, spaces and own uh, own performative elements because uh, uh, there are rituals, there are. Uh, <clears throat> um, spaces of creation which is uh, in order to to this to destroy and uh, uh, it's not so far from uh, uh, another form of arts and uh, uh, into the past and a lot of things was also the uh, um, the term of art of war or uh, yeah so but um, especially uh, if i discuss this with a fellow artist colleagues um, it's um, it sounds to them really strange, but uh, if you really think about uh, without uh, this cruelty and uh, uh, the horrible uh, things what in war exists and war is only shit. So that uh, uh, that means that uh, you can really find uh, uh, their own destructive aesthetics in it and, and a lot of things. If you compare this with this, it's not so far. So. Um, and it's not so far because of uh, uh, all the, the paths of uh, communication and uh, uh, 
social and uh, uh, social manners and uh, uh, yeah topics uh, uh, or, or social topics so <clears throat> last but not least when i uh, got had this encounter with um again with art and uh, uh yeah it was like a, a rebirth in in a different way and and uh, uh, I'm not uh, uh, I'm not ashamed about to say that uh, uh, it was also uh, like a, a healing process because uh, if you uh, if you spend your life in military structures or in different conflicts with uh, and dancing with the death in uh, uh, for lo so long time, so uh, you will get wounded not uh, uh, onto your body. You will get wounded also uh, 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 on your heart and your soul. So everyone uh, uh, who left uh, or survived the war is wounded in a way, and uh, uh, in the most uh, uh, of these wounds, uh, wounds you you can't see. So um, and. When I uh, had my encounter with performance art, so I started with a project uh, it was without uniform. When I really uh, 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 gave my decision to say no more war, no more being a soldier, but uh, uh, you can't reach this goal just uh, 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 with a decision. This is, uh, 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 this is not uh, gonna be happen. It's a really hard work uh, uh, to work uh, uh, to become. Uh, a, yeah, the working process is demilitarization. The working process uh, uh, things and art was the tool. And my first uh, project uh, it was performative project, installative project, uh, also with photography and uh, uh, performances. And it's called without uniform, where uh, uh, where I just uh, worked on body light and uh, nudity so uh, uh, and also uh, uh, um, to express a um, military body which becomes uh, 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 again uh, a part of civilization civilization and um, yes this is the um, this is the part of the transition, and uh, uh, as more I, uh, 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 I, I was rolling into the deep of uh, this art forms, I was reading a lot. It was really like, yeah, a brain drain. Uh, it was amazing, uh, um, and uh, yeah, and it's still like this. Uh, it makes you creative. All the performance, what I did, all the, these projects, what I did, uh, uh, it's not like that, okay, I have to, uh, to finance my life and uh, I have to do some projects and what I can do. No, these projects uh, uh, are inside and uh, uh, they are racing. It's like, a, a, like a, a birth. And then one day it has to come out. And usually I'm working, um, usually I'm working, uh, uh, for months for just one performance because all the research uh, um, the research on materials and uh, uh, to fit all uh, to put all this uh, uh, these frames together it takes for me a lot of time so it's as you read as I say, i'm always uh, saying i'm not an artist i'm an activist but i'm also an artist because uh, i'm doing art but uh, um, yeah maybe it would be a good idea uh, just um, to uh, to show one, one of these works more. Exactly what I was going to ask, if you could screen this. Yeah, and uh, yes. And and it's called homo consumens, uh, uh, man of consumption. It's Latin. Thank you. 
just this performance uh, i was working for many months i think uh, uh, the first idea about the concept i had uh, 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 one and a half year before two years before Yeah. yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for, for that screening. Uh, in relation to the homo uh, consumers, I am interested also in knowing um, your experience as you also perform in Ghana. Let me, I don't want to be general that in Africa, but you perform in Ghana on the street where you were dragging these five stones, if I can remember very well, there were five stones. And now performing this in Cologne, which is like a um, quite dominant space and your body already been white, but, but uh, stained blue. I want to know like the experience, personal experience that you have in both performances. And if there is any relationship that the performances have in common. Um, the only thing what, uh, uh, 
it's not the only thing. Uh, they are uh, common uh, tools and uh, common uh, um, yeah, methods uh, for uh, as a performance because uh, uh, it's using the method uh, which is very very old. Uh, uh, it's uh, it's coming from one of the the most the eldest people or uh, uh, into the world. Uh, it's uh, the Aborigines people in Australia. And uh, when it comes to the uh, 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 to the time when uh, the children, the, the male children, uh, become a man, so they have to. Uh, they're going to the outback. They're calling this into the wild. They're calling this uh, in in the language. Uh, they are outback. And left them uh, for uh, uh, for one month, and they have to find a way. And it's uh, uh, it's it's a way of transition. Even uh, when uh, you just walk, and uh, you can feel the energy if you are walk, you are much more aware about the space where you are. Uh, the topics uh, uh, of um, uh, Ashanti meeting Kumasi. That's the mm -hmm. performance. What you was talking about, uh, uh, what uh, what I did uh, as a participant of uh, 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 2019, when I was part of the residency in August. Um, um, yeah, uh, the common thing was also um, um, just to enter a space where I never uh, uh, never uh, was before. And uh, uh, I did this as a white person, and also uh, as a white person, uh, uh, which uh, um, yeah uh, uh, hadn't shown really real because uh, uh, I'm a so-called disabled person. Uh, uh, I have a body with challenge, uh, a, a challenge body, a, a challenge body and mind. So uh, uh, this has. Uh, created encounters, which was really powerful and uh, interesting. But uh, uh, being there and uh, and seeing the interactions of uh, the co-performance, the audience was uh, 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 very intense, very intense. And there was a connection. This is what you can see. Um, but uh, uh, the topic uh, 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 was about uh, 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 yeah, if you come from uh, a country uh, uh, with, with a colonialist uh, uh, heritage, and uh, uh, and you coming there and uh, uh, for the first time and enter a space and you are allowed to enter and you're doing this in a very performative and in a very um, yeah humbled way, in a very humbled way, it's like I'm just here. If you want to beat me, beat me. If you want to chase me, chase me. I'm here. I'm a human being, and uh, as was also with uh, uh, because uh, uh, I have no, uh, this uh, uh, this skin, and I, I have. I'm coming from a very rich country. Even I have not so much money, but uh, 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 the environment. This is uh, not what what matters. So. Um, uh, that means that uh, 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 that uh, uh, I'm very privileged in this way, and uh, even if I uh, uh, think about uh, 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 of some fellow artist colleagues uh, uh, in Ghana, then I can see that they are also very privileged, comparing to a lot of others in this country. So uh, uh, this performance was uh, uh, a humble way uh, to enter and getting the per asking for the permission to enter in this space and uh, uh, the, uh, the co-performance, the audience gave me the, uh, uh, the permission and uh, uh, I was able uh, to experience and to learn about the city codes, uh, uh, the codes, what every city have, every space have, and uh, I think it was a way for three kilometers like this. And uh, uh, for me, uh, uh, really a powerful performance, because the interactions was really so open-hearted, interested, maybe uh, uh, not scared. So and then uh, uh, let's go uh, uh, to an audience in in a country like uh, uh, in Cologne, uh, in Germany, in a city like uh, uh, Cologne, and you're doing this because um, it was a trend. Uh, 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 
even if I am a, a, a white person, but uh, for this, I choose, uh, 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 I choose uh, um, especially a color, which is not considered that it's a color of skin. You know, so uh, uh, it doesn't exist. Uh, 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 so uh, uh, it's not the matter. It's not the, uh, 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 the topic of, of this, because uh, it is uh, uh, a, a a body which is transi uh, uh, what uh, left it, uh, uh, through the transition and uh, encounters uh, the audience or and also the space which is, uh, 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 is it was a shopping mall street everybody's hunting i uh, have to buy something i have to consume i have to uh, uh, to satisfy uh, 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 all the things what i need and uh, uh, when I was working on the text, especially from Eric Fromm about uh, um, yeah freedom of uh, of the mind and also about uh, this part about uh, homo consumants, because the title is also a term which is uh, uh, from this uh, psychologist uh, uh, very in the early of uh, the, uh, the last century, but uh, uh, which uh, can give you a lot of inputs in this kind of and uh, the text is really. Uh, uh, old, but as, as you read the the text uh, to this performance, you know the description text is very old. But uh, uh, if you read, you go, wow, yeah, it's uh, uh, it's like uh, 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 someone have written this uh, yesterday or or now. So that uh, shows a lot of things. And um, but the really strange thing is also in the other one, I was uh, uh, carrying a, a, a heritage and it was stones. And uh, I wrote on these stones uh, uh, a lot of things like uh, uh, genocide, colonialism, and other things. But uh, 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 it was a really funny thing. It's not funny, but uh, uh, it was really obvious. Because during the, uh, the performance, I lost all the stones, exceptional of one during the things. Uh, I freed myself from the stones. And the only, uh, uh, only stone which uh, has been persisted was the stone where I was written colonialism. Maybe uh, uh, you guys didn't got it uh, 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 when I did my installation because everyone was a part of a huge, really huge project and exhibition in uh, Alliance Francais. But I think, wow, wow, this, uh, 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 this means a lot. You know, it was the only thing because uh, the post-colonialism, uh, uh, post-colonialism uh, 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 still existing and uh, uh, in this country, and this was not the topic, but uh, yeah, it was happened by accident, but uh, uh, it was funny, a funny side note of, of this. So, and uh, comparing to the other one, I was pulling a gun. Just, just imagine that uh, uh, in a place uh, 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 like Germany or in the, uh, in a city like uh, Cologne, you're pulling for one, uh, uh, during one, uh, 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 one hour through a shopping mall street and uh, 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 a gun. Okay, this is, was a real gun. But uh, uh, this real gun was a, 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 was a replica. It means uh, it was not able to shoot. But uh, last but not least, it was forbidden. It was a uh, uh, really, a, 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 and it was a, a, a guerrilla art piece because I didn't got the permission of it. I just started to perform for one hour. And, but I had an interaction even with these people around what uh, 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 brought me to the result that no one was calling the police, no one. That's, uh, uh, I think this was a really success. So that, uh, but it's, it means, uh, it says also a lot because uh, if you can see this, these people doesn't care. Uh, some of them was really uh, uh, wondering and curious uh, what has happened. Someone was a little bit, uh, was a, a little bit scared, but uh, uh, he, he don't touch this gun. He's just pulling this, uh, 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 was born with a chain. And uh, uh, I taught uh, uh, many hours of, uh, how to use uh, uh, this tool inside the performance because it's also uh, uh, because of uh, 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 reasons of security. 
it makes no sense to do uh, to start a performance and after two minutes uh, you get detained and you can perform uh, 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 without uh, uh, without audience inside custody. So that it makes not really sense. So uh, uh, when I reached the half of uh, uh, the way, I said, "Okay, now the police can come and take me away." But uh, I did my job. So that uh, I had really this energy, and then after that, I said, "Okay, now I will go to the end." Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Thank Thank you very much for that explanation about the two performances. I I was really curious about the gun, but you already already spoken about the the gun, and also because I was I am very much aware of um, your military background and how your in Ghana, we are, we, we are trying not to use even the word disabled body, but yeah, really normally we say physically challenged bodies. So I'm just curious how within the Western um, context of performance and activism in relation to, to militants, how the body that is now um, I, if I if I'm permitted to say disabled body, how what is the relationship of the disabled body to the history of performance in itself and to the kind of activism that you engage your you engage in your practice? Yeah, uh, you are really uh, 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 you are really hitting the point. So because uh, uh, if so, if something really exists, and so we can say everyone is disabled. Everyone. I don't like this word. I really don't like this word. But uh, 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 and if people like me, uh, uh, they put in a folder. It's uh, uh, um, it's disabled persons or persons with a handicap. And uh, uh, I like uh, 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 the word diverse people. And. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's one of the things, uh, but. Uh, uh, the things what uh, uh, what um, what I'm thinking uh, about the word when in Ghana is like the body challenge. This is much more it's much more uh, 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 near by the reality. You know, it's a challenge, and um, I I don't know uh, if we can uh, put a, a, a disabled body. You know, because this body have its own shape. It's not disabled or able. This kind of terms doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. Able, disable, now uh, uh, binary bodies, uh, non-binary bodies. You know, uh, to putting always it is in a folder. So <clears throat> I got, a, 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 I have a, a transformed body. That's all. That's the only thing what has happened because I, I didn't, uh, I I didn't uh, uh, born with this body, but uh, uh, because of some reasons my body. And also my mind got transformed, and this brings also an, uh, uh, an energy, which uh, uh, which creates uh, uh, which uh, which creates new um, yeah new uh, uh, spaces where you oppress yourself, where you have an encounter, you know. Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, what I'm what I mean. So yeah. this, uh, this Thank uh, you very much. For... It's just shit. So that's uh -huh. just shit. Yeah. Thank you very much for that word, transform body, because like within even the bodies that have been categorized as disabled bodies, there are diff there are different privileges to these bodies. There are different um, there are different vulnerabilities. There are like different experiences altogether, and because some are born naturally with just being different. So if we, for me, it's hard sometimes to say this person is disabled if the person is born with that difference because the person is still able to do whatever the person wants to do but just that because we have we are looking we are looking at all this body through the lenses of the ideal ideal how to stem as an ideal body and therefore we are we, we try to to shape or reshape how people perceive these bodies around us. But then if I am, I have known people who are born without limbs and they can practically perform any physical work, even more than people, 
it means more than some of us who have all the the things that we claim that makes us human, you know. Yeah. And then yeah. some like people the in the process, like you, in the process of military activism, lost your leg. Is not the same as someone who was born with that physical that's um, true, yeah. physical transformation or physical uh, difference. So when you also use the word uh, transform body, I think I really appreciate that. And quickly, I would like to use that to connect us to rituals of transition. Okay. The performance that you did um, with your hair, um, because like there is a whole lot of polities around the male hair and the female hair. You know, I mean, body hair and whatever hair that we have, uh, being female, being trans, being male, being cis, yeah, being queer, there is a whole lot of politics with this hair, um, yeah, with the body hair. So yeah. I would like you to quickly just use this as a transition okay. into the conversation of ritual transition. Just just one uh, thing what I want to mention, and this is what I really like uh, uh, in this, um, in, yeah, in the activist scene where uh, working for inclusion and whatever else, they're called diverse bodies. Diverse. I really like this term and I prefer really this because uh, I have a transformed body, but uh, not uh, uh, someone, uh, not like someone who uh, has been born with this body, you know? Mm -hmm. so, but uh, uh, the diverse bodies or diverse minds, so this is uh, like a concept of democracy, you know? So in a in a visualized uh, form, so so it means it's diverse. It's not just this uh, binary bullshit stuff in a one form, one flag, one state, one race, blah blah blah. All this tasty stuff. No. Okay. Uh, uh, let's transit uh, uh, to the transition. This was a short one. Sorry, yeah. Well, thank you very much for the, the short version of the rituals of transition. Now, my question um, is that how how do you, or what are the reflection whilst you are performing this ritual of transition as a transformed body and also asks um, an ex-militant. 
I think you are still a militant. I wouldn't say ex-militant. I would just say... I'm, I'm um, a militant, and, of course. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> you are still uh, a militant. I'm, I think I'm, still, you're uh, I'm still a warrior, but uh, 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 even I'm still a warrior, but not a, 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 a warrior of destruction, a warrior of love. My tool... Uh, yeah, yeah. My tool so there's a new, a new form of militant. Yeah, no, it's... Um, that is why uh, uh, I really resist always to say, oh, uh, you are an artist or something is in a way that's right, but uh, otherwise uh, it doesn't catch really uh, uh, the whole frame or the different frames. And this is why I'm called, I'm, uh, I'm an art activist. So, and, uh, and this, and an activist have also, uh, uh, is a kind of militant in a way. Militant doesn't mean that you, you go around and shoot everyone, no, no, no. It means really uh, it's a radical way and <clears throat> to put yourself with everything inside and uh, and uh, uh, working with different tools. You can do this re redu reducing uh, uh, the stimuli. You can do this uh, if, if you are loud. Uh, there are so many ways in this activist ways uh, uh, to uh, create encounters where uh, uh, realities get changed. And uh, that's one of uh, the, the most beautiful thing. And, that, uh, uh, and if, you, if you listen to the lessons in university, when I said, what is art? This is the stupidest uh, uh, question. What is it? What is art? So, and uh, someone give you a definition and say, it, uh, it is art if, you, uh, if it's this, if it's this, it's that. Another one is telling you uh, about another things, and and uh, this is also why I I don't really like um, presentations and uh, to talk about is all these artsy fartsy talks, you know. But I know that it's also very uh, important sometimes, and I love to listen to fellow artist colleagues about their practice. Uh, it, it get I get a lot of impressions, and I'm really uh, really wondering how they are all put these things together it's just uh, it's a miracle so but to put myself on this uh, in in this frame so um, I try uh, always to avoid this but uh, sometimes uh, uh, people like you catch me and then I have to start <laughs> so uh, because it wasn't my idea uh, 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 to say hey I mean uh, Let's uh, let's do something together. No, 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 no. I, uh, we we are thinking this one. This one is okay. Let's think about and then. Anyway, now we are here. Um, about transition, I think uh, in um, it, it was very funny uh, because uh, uh, I didn't plan uh, uh, didn't plan this uh, performance. I had an idea about uh, this, but. Uh, I, uh, I use a lot of layers of transition in my works. So, but um, the only reason why uh, uh, I have started uh, to think about something was, um, yeah, uh, uh, in the other uh, uh, video, what we saw was called uh, um, um, Homo Consumens. Uh, I had a collaboration with a body painter, with a body painting artist. Uh, just uh, 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 to transform uh, uh, my body into a, something blue. And also with these labels on my body, which are, was a symbol for this consumption, uh, some labels of uh, very uh, uh, big companies and trusts. So, um, but for this, is that it would be a really good thing if you share your, uh, shave your body. I said, okay, I will shave my body. But then I thought, oh, I have to shave. Uh, I started uh, 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 to think about uh, why I have to shave. Uh, maybe we can do it also without shaving. And I really was wondering about myself. I didn't understand this, why I am insisting not to shave my body because to, to, uh, lose, uh, to lose my body hair. So that, oh, you have to think about something, maybe about toxic masculinity. You know, I have a really good feminist uh, uh, education uh, given by uh, 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 the feminist comrades, uh, 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 even from the Kurds, and uh, even uh, in the beginning of my activities, this was the time where, 
like we was talking about uh, uh, all these things, even in this time it was about LGBT rights and so on and so on. So, um, but this, uh, uh, I thought uh, 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 this would be not a problem, but uh, uh, then I, uh, uh, I had to, uh, 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 to accept that it seems like a problem. So I said, okay, then this will be a performance. This is a performative way. We have to solve this problem in a, a per performative way. And then I started uh, 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 doing my researches very quickly and uh, uh, didn't took my time like I, I'm doing this always because uh, 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 it was just uh, two weeks, three weeks uh, 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 to prepare for uh, two performances uh, in the same in the same time uh, on one uh, on one weekend and um, yeah last but not least uh, <clears throat> um, you can see in this performance uh, 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 the transition from uh, it was a, a, a body in transition uh, what was doing the performance and uh, uh, I was using tools like a, a suit uh, what I was using uh, 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 as a as a uniform, uh, uh, as a diplomat, and uh, even this, well, I was taking away and cutting and shattering this in pieces uh, uh, from my body. So just this uh, uh, is again was another uh, another transition. So, and uh, I felt really uh, uh, this uh, things that something is gone and uh, something new starts, and uh, this was a really great energy and. Uh, yeah, so uh, there are a lot of layers inside, but as always with these uh, transitions. That's yeah, all. thank you very much for explaining that. I, I would want to know like how does that performative transition affect the way you are looking at performance now? Because um, over the years, I've seen a lot of your works and I've seen how much your performances are transforming and taking new shapes every time, every day, new researches are going on, new discoveries are coming up. So also referencing having a kind of conversation or lecture from feminist um, uh, comrades and now trying to deal with the situation in which you find yourself where you, you understand that perhaps the reason that you have been resistant in um, removing the body hairs is also because of the way you have been shaped and conditioned to think about you as a man. You know, yeah. at the same time, we are looking at a man in a man that is also, um, if again we are borrowing that language, we are going to say a man that is mixed able or. Uh, yeah, so this is also not an ideal man, because in certain cultures, let me let me cite my culture like this: being a man, no matter how huge, big you are, even if you lose your finger, one finger, you cannot even rule. You can't be you can't be on a throne if you are from a royal family. So you are already disqualified. So now facing this ritual that you understood that you were dealing with a kind of toxic masculinity that you wanted to handle it through a perform perform performance or performative action, does that really impact the way you are thinking about the body and thinking about masculinity? Um, yeah, now? No, I think <clears throat> you can't, uh, uh, you can't uh, really um, change everything with one shot or with one performance or something mm -hmm. like this but uh, yeah. uh, this topic uh, this topic uh, uh, was just uh, it was an irritation because uh, 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 I really don't feel like in this way I don't really like think it's the way I thought uh, I'm I'm, uh, uh, I'm a little bit more far and this was the irritation the oops this kind of or things even can be because I never thought about my body hair. I'm really, it was always uh, uh, since uh, uh, I raised and uh, uh, 
came to my other lands and then the beard was uh, uh, something like this was uh, uh, spreading and um, yeah that's uh, that's really um, the funny thing so but uh, uh, it wasn't a part of uh, my identity I thought but then uh, uh, when it came to the point uh, really to shave everything uh, I'm shaving parts of my uh, of my body but uh, uh, you know like uh, uh, in the in the Greek uh, 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 legions, when Samsung, you know, uh, when he loses his hair, he loses his power. You know, it's very funny uh, uh, comparison. Uh, uh, if, if I so, then if I share, uh, sh lose my hair, I have no power anymore. No, that this was uh, and, the uh, uh, and this irritation uh, uh, has been born and, uh, and created a, a, a performance. So. Uh, it's uh, even as a self-critic, this performance is much more self uh, 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 to be understand as a as a self-critic, you know. But even to say, uh, if I criticize myself, uh, 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 if I criticize myself, so and doing this in public, uh, so then uh, uh, maybe uh, 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 it uh, creates another interaction or another reflection, and becomes part of the pot. So that's. That's it. So, and now I, I don't think that uh, uh, we can say. And now it's just always a, a frame of a situation. Like if you take a photo, this photo uh, maybe you can create with the photo a lot of things, but it can be just a frame. This is not the real life, you know, because this is why uh, uh, performance have to be life, because it's it's a, a it's a kind of art. Uh, okay, we, we make it sustainable with, uh, uh, with media, like uh, video, and this is also why uh, 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 photography and uh, uh, video is so important for it. It's the only way where we can make it, uh, uh, make it sustainable. But the real thing, the real piece of art, because uh, this piece belongs to everyone. No one is the owner. That is the beauty, uh, beautiful things, everything. And this is the real the real socialist, and maybe it's a, a, it's really socialist, really socialist. Performance art is socialist. On, on that note, on that note, I want us again to just shift the reality that you were talking about, the everyday reality, into looking at the, the phonics. Yeah. How, how does the phonics reveal the everyday realities if we are looking at wars, we are looking at crises, we are looking at um, all events that had different, different effects on human beings. How would you say the performance phonics reveals the complexities and, and encounter everyday realities of human beings? If you can also show us the video of this performance. Yeah. Um, um, uh, just the title uh, 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 says a lot of things, but I think uh, I know that uh, uh, you re uh, you read your Bible uh, uh, very well. You know uh, the history, so um, and uh, the phoenix uh, phoenix rises from the ashes. You know, so uh, it is something about of a rebirth. You, you, you something uh, find uh, 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 finds an end. And uh, uh, this transition creates uh, a new life. So, and this, uh, um, <clears throat> and for this, you need uh, 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 to resist. You need uh, 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 to leave your into this process. And uh, uh, but otherwise, uh, uh, you have to be resilient, and uh, uh, you have to resist. And sometimes you have to get just to make a step by. Why to confront yourself with every six sometimes? Uh, uh, even the re retirement is uh, uh, can be an action, you know. So, and um, the piece what I, uh, 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 what I have the honor to share is uh, uh, was um, part of an exhibition in um, in another country. It was in Luxembourg, a very small, uh, sweet, nice of country, and uh, it was uh, exhibited uh, um, for one month. Um, in an installation, and uh, uh, this is the video of this performance, uh, uh, and it was with the air, uh, with the water pressure cleaner. Or, uh, I don't know how it means in English, but uh, okay, I will just uh, share this. Okay. 
Okay. The performance, uh, this I think, just, yeah, this was just some excerpts because the, the whole performance um, was uh, 30 minutes and um, mm -hmm. I think uh, for everyone it was very brutal and, uh, and very intense and uh, I have still some health problems because of this performance, uh, problems with my kidneys, it was very cold and uh, uh, no one can really imagine uh, what uh, what it means in front of, of uh, 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 being in front of this 
pressure and uh, you have to struggle. And as far, it was very funny, uh, funny uh, to discover because uh, uh, I did it for the first time. There wasn't any, um, any check or any rehearsal or something like this. And uh, um, uh, if I had, uh, if I had been received, uh, rehearsed this when we said, no, I want to do this performance. <laughs> I just went in and I said, what the shit, what the fuck I'm doing here. So that, uh, uh, this was really brutal and challenging uh, uh, and um, 30 minutes uh, with this cold was heavy. But uh, uh, I think a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of this um, uh, and, uh, regarding to, uh, to the topic, what uh, you say was also a process, just the 30 minutes was uh, something like a uh, transition. And, uh, and uh, yeah, it was also for my co-performer, uh, Nora Wagner, uh, very happy to do this. She never did something like this. And I think it was also something because after a while she said, I'm really ashamed of it myself because uh, uh, after why it was just an object, you know. So, but then maybe then you understand what it means, uh, uh, how war, uh, how war uh, uh, works. You know, you can see all these uh, frames and uh, and elements. So, anyway, so that's uh, yeah. I I think I, I for me when I watched this performance, I, it was really intense. Um, knowing the pressure that is also coming from that water gun yeah. um, and enduring that pressure for over, yeah, for about one hour, right? No, no, no. And also minutes. cold. Yeah, 13 minutes. 13 minutes. Oh, wow, 13 minutes. Wow. 13 minutes. Yeah, I couldn't have imagined, I couldn't even have imagined you living in that condition for like an hour or over. No. Uh, no. Yeah. It's not possible. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's not possible. Yeah, so, 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 like, when when I watched that um, that performance, I was also curious to know if sometimes you do have nightmares from nightmares or um, maybe yeah, nightmares, fears, shocks from your military background and how you handle that in relation to the kind of wild performances that you do? Um, yes, of course I have, um, because uh, as I told before, so no one uh, uh, was living in war uh, 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 will go out of war uh, uh, as a whole person. Everyone who was in war is a wounded person. Uh, everyone who have survived because the other, uh, the other ones are just dead. So that means it doesn't matter uh, 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 if your course was uh, uh, just for self-defense or not. So, so um, there are a lot of layers in it. And uh, of course, uh, 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 sometimes uh, I can, I have uh, nightmares or about uh, uh, some situations in war or uh, just about the feeling of guilt uh, 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 because it's a burden uh, uh, to do this because uh, in war you are killing or uh, you are able to be killed. So, and, uh, uh, and uh, uh, this is the one thing what uh, I really uh, uh, appreciate at the Bible, you know, uh, don't kill. So that's good, that's uh, not everything. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, don't, uh, don't kill or uh, whatever else, but uh, uh, something what uh, uh, what means that uh, we need uh, uh, we need rules, some simple rules, just uh, 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 to find an encounter without uh, uh, banging our heads to each other. So anyway, and uh, uh, of course um, uh, you have these wounds, and this, uh, uh, even it takes a lot of time, but these wounds will never left. You know these scars. The wounds may be healed, but uh, the scars never heals. So uh, um, it's part of my reality, but uh, uh, in very extreme performances, sometimes uh, 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 it can be happen that I have a flashback. Really that you, uh, uh, you, uh, you believe for one, just maybe just for a woman that, that you feel like uh, 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 you are in war. So, uh, but uh, I learned a lot of techniques uh, to deal with it and uh, uh, for this uh, uh, I accepted also professional uh, professional service 
and uh, 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 other, uh, in other words, I did a therapy and was working on uh, the heaviest uh, causes uh, in it because last but not least, um, I'm more uh, aware and uh, more reflected on, on this way. But uh, um, for example, uh, um, uh, my company, um, which I'm working for, you know, so uh, they had a really heavy, uh, heavy topic where I was dealing with it in a production, and I wanted uh, 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 wanted me as a part of this production, and it was called uh, Seller and Secrets, and it was a topic about uh, torture and isolation. You know, mm -hmm. okay, it, uh, uh, it, it takes too much time uh, now to describe this concept, but uh, uh, and I refused, I refused because say that. I, I worked many years to pull out uh, 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 this experience of torture out of my party because I'm also uh, I got tortured, raped uh, uh, in uh, uh, when I was a prisoner of war. So uh, 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 and I want not to dance uh, uh, the things what I pulled out of my body again uh, uh, with uh, 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 with just one production. I'm, I'm you know this. Uh, uh, there are something some kind of things where I just stay away. That seems to be very, yeah, very strong because I remember sharing the story of you jumping into water before just because uh, a helicopter was approaching the building, right? Yeah, yeah, I was just approaching the, uh, the building and I jumped into the water because I thought uh, 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 I have to hide myself. And I have to cover myself and uh, uh, for survival. Yeah. And then the people, it was yeah. just mid, uh, in the middle of nowhere in the city, you know, and... Uh, and then the people was looking to me like a piece of shit and said that he's crazy. Maybe he's trumping or something like this. So, and nobody cares. So, yeah. That's it. Well, yeah. Um, I'm still going to, to see if there are questions on YouTube because a lot of people are watching on YouTube. Um, but there is no question yet. I only see thumbs up and the rest over there. Um, so there is no question on YouTube. I'm on Zoom here. There is no question on Zoom. Yeah, there is no question on Zoom. Um, I don't know about Instagram. Okay, so no questions here. Uh, but there are, there are a couple of people also watching here and uh, watching on, on YouTube and watching on Instagram. So, um, so if you have any personal question you would want to, to send, you can send them either on the on the YouTube that you are watching from, or you, you just join the Zoom and ask on Zoom, or also on Instagram, and uh, we see if they can communicate the Instagram to us. Um, so those handling the Instagram, if there are questions there, please kindly just drop them, um, copy and paste them in the Zoom, or if possible, you can just take the mic, go, go to the mic and speak into the, the, the Zoom so that we can hear and respond to that. Yeah, so whilst we are, okay, someone is joining from here. I think Gabrielle is joining from here. So maybe they want to ask a question from here. Um, so whilst we are waiting for questions, I want to ask one, one, one other question myself that um, as a self-taught artist and activist, and also living in Europe, what, what are the, some of the challenges that you encounter developing your practice? One of the, uh, uh, of the, uh, the encounters what I'm challenging here, is, you know, as an, uh, as an artist, uh, 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 you have also to live from your art, you know? So, um, and for this uh, 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 often, uh, you have to be an activist because you have to be active. So, and for me, the challenge is uh, 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 there uh, because I uh, uh, I don't finance my uh, my artworks uh, through funding or governmental mm -hmm. funding. I'm uh, uh, creating projects, earning money, and financing my projects by myself. So just uh, 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 to, uh, uh, to uh, yeah to save my independence, you know, because uh, 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 if you understand, yeah, this is also 
part of all this art world uh, that you have to write applications, you have to back for this, you have to back for that. And then they're thinking, no, you have to do something about digitalization. Uh, then uh, maybe you can get some money, but uh, 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 war or uh, peace or something like this, uh, then, uh, we don't care. We have no program for it now to fund, uh, to fund this, you know? But uh, uh, the really uh, challenging, uh, uh, the really challenging thing in this uh, activism, because in the, uh, you're doing this into the public, you confront uh, uh, your uh, co-performance, the audience, with a topic, and uh, you just jump in. And um, the real encounter, uh, uh, the real challenging uh, uh, things there is uh, sometimes uh, they don't care. They really don't care. And even if you kill yourself in the middle of the street, they are said, oh, and then they are just going there. That, uh, uh, this is also one, uh, one thing, I think, uh, 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 because you, uh, uh, you're uh, performing on, on an international level. You went so, to many countries uh, and uh, uh, traveling a lot before COVID-19, you know. But, uh, 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 but uh, in Germany, uh, or in some other European countries, uh, uh, I think uh, uh, performance art, uh, it's not easy to do in, uh, into the public. Or you really need uh, to create a, a point of encounter. And, but, uh, uh, you know, I have a body shape uh, uh, where someone, uh, because it's not allowed to look at him, but uh, I'm saying, hey, hey, I'm here. So, so that's that's an advantage. I'm using this also in an advantage. I'm, um, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So, like, yeah. On on that note, I want to ask a question that is related to both of us. How how does collaboration means to you? Because I think you have collaborated with a couple of artists, but we have also collaborated twice already in performances, mm -hmm. and we are collaborating on several other levels. Yeah. So, in general, as a practice. What does collaboration mean to you? Oh, it's uh, it's very difficult uh, 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 sometimes uh, um, uh, because uh, yeah, uh, a lot of artist colleagues uh, have its own uh, uh, vulnerability and uh, um, fragility. But uh, if you find uh, if you can find a collaborator, a collaborator who shares their own space, their own vulnerability to create a, a common space of vulnerability, then uh, uh, you create a really powerful space where the things can flow together. So, and uh, especially uh, 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 when uh, uh, these performers or co -perform not co-performers, when these collaboration, uh, collaboration partners coming from a different background, coming from a different culture, coming things, there, it's uh, 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 it's really interesting uh, uh, just to feel uh, uh, to see this energy and uh, 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 the counter questioning in these processes and to create uh, uh, something. But uh, 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 you know that I love to uh, uh, to perform with you because uh, uh, we don't discuss so much. We are just doing, and uh, we have maybe another bond, and uh, uh, it's also uh, about bond, you know. So. Uh, and if you are ready uh, uh, to open, uh, you make your vulnerable in this way, without any condition, you know, uh, 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 yeah, then uh, uh, you can create really big things. But uh, uh, if I just stuck uh, uh, in my work and, uh, uh, and lead them in the way how I want, maybe I will uh, miss a lot. So. I need also uh, uh, my own uh, uh, space sometimes and uh, uh, do uh, my own stuff. But uh, uh, I think collaboration is a very powerful tool uh, 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 to create things what uh, you can't create alone. And you can learn a lot. So for, for me, it, mean, uh, it means a lot to me, this, this encounters. So. Yeah, well, for, for me, I, I, I am beginning to tell people now that collaboration is a new school. That's, yeah, it's a nice yeah. description. Yeah, it's a, it's a really new school. Yeah, collaboration is a new school because like we are all trapped in our own mind. We are all trapped in our, in our own rigid ways of doing things. In as much as we even think that we are very flexible and fluid, we still have our own rigidities uh, that in which we are trapped in. But 
in collaboration, it forces you to break those rigid boundaries and begin to find a common ground to, 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 to explore and to experience things that you wouldn't have experienced alone. Mm. So like I, I begin to think it's a new school and I've been enjoying a lot of collaboration happening uh, re recently in the residency. Uh, Magdalena from Berlin is collaborating with one Ghanaian student artist and also Erica and Martin, they've been doing series of collaboration. Um, Marlene uh, from Austria, also collaborating with some dancers. And when I begin to look at all these things, um, you, you might even know about Zoe from Ben, Switzerland. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. when I begin to look at all the spectrums in which people were doing different collaboration, I just begin to feel like collaboration is a new school because everyone is now been as they, they have been exposed and become very vulnerable and also you learn to yeah like how would i say it i would, I would say you learn to 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 actually appreciate failure when you are collaborating you know mm. yeah so this is why i was asking how to collaborate because when we you and i collaborated in these two significant performances, mm. it's been like, I always feel like we are twin bodies because the way we think, the way we just immediate thought of the subject and the topic, mm. there were a lot of things that were flowing. But at the same time, it was through those collaborations that have come to the realization of the, um, the, the extreme um, po political dialogues on some of the very uh, the various themes and subjects that we were actually uh, bringing to light, you know, like yeah. when we talk about table of negotiation and stuff, yeah. But then there's someone talking here. Um, I think there's a question from. Um, um, sorry if I mispronounce your names. Resignation fire, resignation fire, something like that. Um, so the person is asking, would would it be possible for John to talk a bit about how he sees art and activism working together? Activism, I think, is focused on achieving a specific result, but art can be interpreted in many ways. Of course, uh, I think uh, there are so many layers uh, uh, what you can do, but uh, it's a, I think, um, uh, it's related to the topics what you uh, what you want to deal or what you are forced to deal and uh, uh, an activist uh, uh, you can be an activist with with, uh, uh, with no bond to art so that's uh, uh, maybe the activism itself it's uh, maybe also a, sh uh, a form of art but uh, uh, and this is why I call myself uh, uh, an artivist an archivist it means art and activist. So to bring, uh, 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 I think the graffiti prayers uh, 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 are one of the best examples uh, 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 when you when they are doing their art into the streets and this uh, uh, art doesn't belong to it. You can't cage them in museums. You can't uh, uh, buy them on. Uh, 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 on the art market, you don't need cri uh, 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 critics, you know, you don't need uh, someone who's uh, talking about all this uh, shit. So it's just there. You create uh, it for everyone and uh, it doesn't belong to everyone. But uh, uh, the topics, what you're dealing with it, it brings uh, a lot of things to the uh, to the light. It's, uh, uh, it's a way of expression. It's a way uh, uh, of confrontation. It's a way maybe just uh, 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 to yeah, to spread something, you know. So um, uh, I, I I always uh, 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 enjoying art uh, uh, in the museums, or I'm enjoying uh, 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 just to watch uh, how uh, 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 a lot of colleagues are painting, or uh, 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 I enjoy art uh, uh, in a lot of other things. But uh, um, no one of these painters, uh, uh, not so much of these painters, and not so much of uh, 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 these colleagues in this art genres, you know, going uh, really uh, uh, maybe uh, 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 there, like uh, this performance, uh, what we watch together, and uh, pulling a gun, uh, uh, things, because uh, uh, the way this encountered, it became art uh, 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 in a different way. But uh, uh, if 
without this encounter, without uh, 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 this concept, maybe without uh, 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 all the layers, what you put it, it's just a guy who is pulling a gun. It's a crazy one, you know, not everything is art, but it can be, it can be, but not everything it is. Yeah, uh, th thank you for that uh, explanation. So um, there's a question from, I don't know, it's a, let me check it well. There's a, some text from Erica. So Erica uh, Delambas um, says, hey, John, uh, question, okay. While transitioning can, can be a state of constant flux rather than um, a means to an end, in regards to your life project of dematerializing your body, how have you been measuring this? Wow. <laughs> wow. This is, a, this is a very beautiful but complex question, you know? How have you been measuring this? I can read it again. While transitioning can be a state of constant flux rather than a means to an end in regards to your life project of dematerializing your body, how have you been measuring this? This is a really uh, a question. I, I, uh, I want, uh, uh, I, I need a little bit uh, to think about, you know, but uh, um, first, I think life itself is uh, uh, is, a, uh, is a process of transition, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, and ne nothing is forever. And uh, uh, one day, uh, uh, when we reach uh, uh, the line, uh, uh, we have to go, and we will, uh, and our body uh, uh, will be uh, um, will be um, uh, uh, go away. So, for demilitarization, a body. You know, and how to measure uh, uh, this. So um, it's just a way how now I'm watching to the things what you are watching very naturally. If you watch, uh, uh, if you watch uh, 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 to the sun, what are you thinking, Babena? What 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 do you feel? What are you thinking when you just watch to the sun? Wow, I think this is a, what do I think if I watch the sun? Uh, when well, you have to watch the sun or a, a beautiful landscape. Yeah, you know, sometimes it's about feeling, it depends on also the mood in which I am looking into a landscape or looking into, into the sun. Um, if, if I'm in a mood that really is giving me a kind of excitement and the vegetation is really inspiring me, Mm -hmm. um yeah then it it gives me a different reflection about looking at this vegetation but yeah. if i'm also in a, a mood that it even makes this vegetation very boring and even makes me regret being at where i am and even being who i am yeah then it's a different thing altogether okay but uh uh, uh you have an encounter and something has happened. But uh, 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 most of the times, especially uh, in the beginning of this project, I was still on, uh, on this stage that when I look to the landscape, I see not the landscape. I see the places, uh, the strategic places uh, uh, where the danger can be from, where you ha uh, uh, have to act, where you have to, uh, 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 to move, and uh, uh, like a, a, a space of danger mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. death. And even mm -hmm. the sun, uh, uh, even the sun, one, uh, 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 really uh, uh, the, the giver of life in this universe, I just see it as a, a maybe just a, as a factor which uh, can disturb uh, 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 something, you know, and that's, that's it, uh, that's it, uh, just uh, uh, because uh, 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 this has happened uh, in, in your mind, so, and uh, to mm -hmm. demilitarize a body, um, this is, to changing your manners, you know. For example, I started, uh, 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 for example, I was always on time. You know, in war, everything has on point, on second. If not, uh, uh, someone will die just for nothing. Mm. So that, uh, that, that means, so of course, uh, uh, I'm always on time in an appointment. 
and then I started to just uh, 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 with uh, really as a project uh, to coming too late to an appointment. It was really a torture for me. And uh, uh, just to coming to an appointment, now I can do this very good. Uh, I think uh, uh, I reach uh, uh, I reach my goal in this one. Sometimes I'm coming uh, 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 maybe ten minutes too late. So, <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> no, this uh, really uh, 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 it sounds really um, really um, uh, funny, but it's really not funny because uh, uh, you have to get your life every uh, everything what uh, uh, for everyone is uh, uh, just natural you just uh, dealing with your life or things what you have or with your feelings and uh, uh, with your problems or uh, uh, or just caring for something with something whatever else and you uh, uh, for every uh, things of this natural uh, uh, manners behaviors uh, you have to learn again like a child you know, to speak not in a way that it's everything is uh, based on uh, uh, effectivity and not uh, uh, for things and don't uh, uh, to judge in this way. And uh, 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 yeah, so there are so many layers. It takes, it would be take, uh, take too much time uh, uh, to discuss this way, but I can see, I can see uh, uh, the progress. You know, and how I measure this, I see this also when I uh, speak uh, uh, with with people. Now people is acting uh, in a dialogue uh, uh, different, comparing to this was 20 years ago. I was rough. I was rough. I said, tell me. Don't wait. Don't uh, just on time, just on point. Bam, bam, bam. You know, so how you can bear this shit, you know, so that, 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 that this is not, uh, doesn't suit to, to something, so it doesn't suit uh, uh, to anything. It's really a, a, an old world. And so when you, uh, I had to learn these kind of things and, uh, and to accept my own vulnerability. Vul being vulnerable in war means death. That's it. So and uh, I think as more I produce, as more uh, 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 I, I grow, as more I can go far, as more I can measure, I can measure my progress in it. Because, uh, 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 because in all uh, these examples, there are a lot of uh, things where I, I'm just vulnerable. And that's the space uh, where we can meet and where we can create uh, 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 miracles. Yeah, thank you very much, John. Uh, we have like six minutes to go. Um, we have already done almost two hours wow. talking. Wow. <laughs> this, is, this is long. Yeah, um, but I really appreciate a lot of people have been here uh, watching and listening for the two hours. I don't know if um, those on Zoom would want to ask any question, even if, if you can just raise your hand if you want to ask question by owning your video, feel free to do that. If you want to just audio, feel free. Um, I'm just checking the people um, and, uh, and see what they have. But then what I want to ask if the was waiting for question from Awari, Gabriel, um, yeah, and also those still on Zoom, uh, YouTube because I think people are watching on YouTube and the Zoom. Um, yeah. What I want to ask is that how does you, uh, the the position of uh, or how is your relationship with the dinner thirteen impacting the way you are thinking about your your practice and your body? Again, because I feel like dinner thirteen is really one of the most powerful um, mixed able dance company I have known because there might be several others, but this is the one I have come to know so far and I have seen a lot of production and a lot of, a lot of work from them and seen how how they challenge the mind of people to to use the body as a fluid material you know this is very good uh, yeah. yeah yeah so so you working with this um, this and also as a financial director but also a participating artist in many of the projects how is this impacting and affecting the way you think about your practice? 
I think uh, it's an own space. So I, I really adore uh, adore the work of Dina Thirteen, and they are doing this since twenty five years. You know, and uh, they have really uh, uh, very interesting works, and uh, uh, especially also um, there are some uh, people where uh, since twenty five years, uh, Gerda Koenig, the choreographer, the chief choreographer, art, uh, artistic director of Dina Thirteen. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you met her. Uh, you met her already when you was in Germany. It's an impressive, uh, a, a impressive fighter. Really mm -hmm. an impressive fighter uh, to uh, uh, to change uh, uh, narratives, uh, 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 narratives in the dance world, and uh, even uh, the perception of, uh, of of body and uh, of the genre. So. Um, and that's, uh, uh, um, I think all uh, the colleagues who are working uh, in this uh, network and also in this frame, they are very excited about this vision uh, uh, that uh, um, the concept of a uh, uh, diverse body uh, 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 creates a, a vision of a, a, a diverse democracy, you know, so, and it's a political vision. And um, you find also, yeah, and the people there uh, uh, know my uh, my history, uh, my past, and uh, they know what what I'm think. And this is affecting my own practice also, and a lot of things. And this is why I start uh, a project. I'm planning to start a project. Uh, 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 what for that? I really. Uh, uh, in, uh, have to do this in public, and this is uh, not possible in the moment because of the uh, uh, um, the COVID nineteen pandemic uh, situation. And uh, uh, just now, uh, 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 it's a curfew, and you can't leave the house in the uh, in the night. So since nine o'clock uh, in the evening here, it's a curfew. So. Um, that means it's not possible uh, to perform in public. I really adore, uh, adore the work of people. And um, uh, someone, uh, uh, I think uh, I have an echo here. Okay. Um, that what I mean is uh, that uh, I'm planning to, uh, to create things. It's a, a Crip Lab. Uh, it's a project is called Crip Lab. I'm planning at first uh, uh, two performances which are dealing for the first time just with my own so called disability just about this because mm -hmm. uh, uh, it, in any works it wasn't a, a, it wasn't a, a topic but it's it's about it becomes now the topic this is why I uh, I uh, call it crib lab and uh, and uh, uh, people when I uh, call myself a crib um, they're feel uh, this is a democratic statement you know about my body and uh, and i use a, a bad word for myself for my body for my position just uh, uh, to say i'm here you can uh, uh, i'm here i'm visible no one can't make me invisible and if you feel if you feel uncomfortable and it's it's, it's a, my body in this form is a democratic manifestation you know as a vision because you can, you can put your wishes on it, and uh, you can think about, oh, you know, this is a, a political, a political uh, 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 matter. So, um, and if you don't, uh, if you don't feel comfortable with uh, with that, then it becomes also a democratic stand in life. You know, if you don't like this word, so. And that's uh, and I said, okay, uh, I'm proud of you, and that's the society I want to be, and uh, this is the society I want to live. Wow, <laughs> thank you. I think there's a question from uh, um, Awari, who is currently in residency here. Awari is a Uganda Swiss artist, uh, currently at the residency. And the question, I think you can read, but I'll read it also to the audience. The question is that. Uh, thank you for sharing your work with us, John. I interpret your homo consume, consumers performance as a critic of the commercialization of war because it is such a lucrative business which many Western companies profit from. Wow. Usually far away from their own territories. My goodness. Mm -hmm. Namely, 
namely in countries of the global south. Mm -hmm. Is this an accurate interpretation of your vision? I apologize if you have already spoken on this, but no. I think it's a very, yeah, yeah very good yeah. point and question she's asking. So yeah. I would like you to respond to this. No, it's a really, it's really, a, it's really a, a nice question, but uh, this interpretation is part of it. But uh, uh, the, uh, the first, the main layer of this mission uh, uh, is much more uh, 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 the co-performance in the space around, you know? And uh, the reason why I was pulling a gun behind me uh, is that that uh, 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 all the consumption of uh, these rich people, you know, these rich people and uh, the privileged, uh, uh, the privileged there, they are, the only things where, yeah, because they are also in transition, you know, they become like uh, uh, this guy who uh, have this blue, uh, 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 already this blue skin or uh, uh, with the labels, the ta labels tattoos uh, onto the skin, you know, and. Um, it's about consumption, and this consumption uh, exists uh, can be existing just because there's a war somewhere else, and people is dying, and you're selling, uh, 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 you're becoming rich because uh, 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 you fuckers are uh, uh, are selling the weapons to there, making big business uh, uh, in the continent of Africa, making big business in middle, uh, middle East, and uh, and then you are uh, uh, then you are. Uh, uh, complaining that uh, uh, some of those guys uh, coming there from the war and uh, knocking the door and ask uh, and seek for asylum, you know, and become refugees. And uh, uh, it's a really um, hypocrisy in this kind of things. And uh, and uh, uh, just to make it uh, some some kind of this, this, uh, this crazy uh, contrictionary situation uh, 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 to make it visible so, but uh, uh, if you think uh, uh, this uh, uh, much more in the in the macro, uh, of course, then uh, this vision uh, 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 this is a correct interpretation. You know, they are in every. Yeah thank, yeah. yeah, thank you very much for for that explanation. You know, like um, I I have always been asking this question. Um, do I never? I <laughs> I I don't know the exact answer that people will be given, but. I always ask that if everyone prays for their business to grow, especially in Ghana, that is a very Christianized religious country that every, every successful thing must be depending on God, God's blessing and God's approval. So if everyone is praying for businesses to grow, what is the main prayer of the person who made the coffin? <laughs> <laughs> what is the main prayer of the person who makes the coffin? And if we can answer this simple question, then we should know what would be the main promotion of people who produce guns, weapons, you know, yeah, yeah who are working in such industry. Yeah. What is what is what is their what is their motivation and what are they what are they praying for? You know, yeah. it doesn't mean I'm not saying that we no, they should, we shouldn't produce coffin. We shouldn't produce gun as humanity grows and advances. Yeah, yeah there will be manufacturing of ev almost everything, you know. Yeah. Um, but then the question is, if you work in such an industry, what is your hope? What is your prayer? So that that I think I'm just trying to re-echo re what Awori was saying, that the war industry is a lucrative industry. Very lucrative. And, uh, yeah, uh, because... Because you also would, you also would observe um, that, like, there was somebody who was also giving some kind of interesting um, analysis. I think I don't know why I watch it, but the person was like, "Okay, if 10, 10 people are being bombed in the U.S., it's a global news. Then, then, then people have died. But if American troops are in Iraq and bombing." And killing even innocent ten thousand people, nobody has died yet. Yeah, and nobody cares, and that's it. And nobody this, cares. Yeah, and this you is know, what, what I mean. And nobody cares. Nobody, no one cares. But uh, uh, you see, 
uh, uh, these people, this is the, this was the main uh, uh, topic of it, you know, uh, that uh, 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 social control uh, uh, to make the people just to beings where I consume and uh, uh, consume their, uh, uh, to fulfill their own emptiness and uh, uh, because something and they don't care about the things around, you know, and this is uh, the things to make it, uh, to make this visible and to confront this. And also this hypocrisy. Uh, they are talking about human rights. They are talking about uh, 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 about the rights, and uh, uh, even sending. Ah, oh, we're sending a lot of money here. On the, uh, but you're you're selling your weapons for every uh, uh, for every uh, 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 every euro. What you send, you you make five out of it. You know. So and uh, uh, where uh, uh, where is the balance? And, uh, and then, uh, 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 especially with this weapon industry, but this was not really the, uh, not really the topic of uh, uh, the performance. But uh, 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 it's in a way also part of it, because they don't care. They don't care. Yeah. And if they don't care, then uh, you have to show them the mirror. Okay, you have to show the mirror. And artist show uh, uh, is also someone who takes the mirror, and say, and even it's it's the own body as a mirror. Yeah, th thank you once again, John. Um, I think we have gradually come to the end of uh, our amazing conversation today. Yeah. And I really, really love to hear about your work every time because anytime you speak, I still hear new things and I still learn new things because I feel like you are so loaded with so much um, your content and especially from your past experience that are now being uh, gradually being translated into um, your performances and the arts, arts that you are, you are making. So I think there are thousands of things yet to, to be exposed, like for us to see or to hear. Um, so maybe just to conclude, I would just want like few sentences from you. What are some, what are the, what are some of the things you are hoping to do as soon as the COVID has permitted us to, to begin to jubilate in public spaces, what are some of the things you are hoping to do? I think uh, uh, in the next days, uh, we'll go, um, I will go to um, my childhood place and I'm planning a performance, uh, uh, a performance uh, where I want to work uh, 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 with forest and uh, with nature. And uh, even as a, uh, I can tell also uh, the working title, it's Safe Haven. And uh, wow. this is the things what, uh, what I, uh, I want to do in the next days. And uh, uh, I'm working about uh, um, two performances, uh, what I want to, uh, uh, to realize as more, uh, uh, as, uh, as much I can and or as, um, uh, as quick as I can. So, but uh, it seems so. Uh, uh, it will be just in two or three months uh, when the uh, the vaccination campaign comes uh, 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 to a result, because you know the so-called uh, 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 masters of uh, organization, the Germans are, are really bad in this kind of thing. Bureaucracy uh, uh, is crazy, you know. So, they have a lot of problems here. So, uh, and this uh, uh, makes uh, uh, losing time and costs a lot of lives of uh, uh, human beings because uh, uh, people is dying because of it. And of this uh, fucking virus, so um, I think uh, 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 when everything is open, uh, the first thing uh, uh, what I want to do is uh, um, the thing what I uh, um, uh, pet the crib. And um, but uh, it's the way how I I write, I spell it, and I, uh, uh, it's my uh, touching the crib. So this uh, uh, will a performance where I will use uh, 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 my so-called crib buddy and uh, uh, will make the audience uh, uh, to touch it. So this, uh, uh, this is the frame. So this is what I realize, and this uh, with a, 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 in a space uh, uh, like a beggar. So that's, that's the way how I'm doing it. Yeah. Thank you very much, John. Uh, there are some other questions, but I would leave that for you to answer them by typing uh, in the, in the, um, in the, in the, the name. Uh, no, YouTube. So uh, when, okay. we, when we are done, you can respond. It will be, it will be there. 
So you uh, can respond to can questions you send there. Me, can you send uh, me a link, the link of YouTube? Sure, sure. I'll yeah. send you the link. Um, so because there's a question from Yao, there is a question, yeah, there's a question from Yao concerning if you did kill during your activism as a, a warrior and how you feel after. I know you responded earlier, so uh, you can just type and respond to that in a text. Um, I, I, yeah. can't, I can't respond uh, in a text, so this is uh, because of uh, security reasons, but I can say, <laughs> uh, I can say that uh, uh, you are uh, uh, as a uh, uh, as a um, as a soldier. Uh, uh, what is your job as a soldier? So and this must be uh, this must be uh, uh, answer or not? Yeah, yeah. And uh, you feel guilty. <laughs> That's the an answer. And you too. feel guilty. That's <laughs> yeah. It. yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much, John. Um, yeah, we are looking forward to seeing you in Ghana as soon as the the situation is calm. Um, yeah, we will love, we will love to see you here. Um, and we are so grateful as the residency, as the family for your constant support to the residency, to the artists over here, to the, to the, to the team over here, to the people who work with us. We are very, very grateful and we are looking forward to yeah, connecting with you physically again. And then the whole house is apologizing for missing your birthday, it has never happened like this to us. Uh, you know? It doesn't matter. Doesn't Nobody matter. remembered. No worry. Nobody Don't remembered. Worry. <laughs> Nobody remembered. So, in conclusion, I want to sing my birthday song to you, then you can go. So, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to John. Happy birthday to Herman. Happy birthday to you. Applause, applause, applause. <laughs> Thank you very much uh, for having me. Yeah, Exciting um, uh, talk and conversation. And thank you uh, to everyone for watching and listening and asking uh, questions uh, 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 and uh, I've no idea uh, how much people uh, uh, was listening to it but uh, I think uh, 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 I think everyone uh, uh, for, for listening and uh, wishing you uh, uh, a great evening a good time and all the colleagues we are now in residency that uh, I'm really sure that uh, they are uh, really exciting uh, uh, this experience and uh, uh, keep pushing yeah, the good thing is that we have also recorded it and it's also live on YouTube. So people can also watch it after and we can, I advise people to just share so people can really listen. And this is a program we are hoping that we, we continue that artists who have been in residence, one, we, would, we are looking forward that when artists are doing their project outside the residence, now that like Aluminox, we call them Aluminox, they should feel free, write to us and let us know what you are doing as vision. And we would also be a team that can also uh, publish and share your as vision and stuff. And then once a while, we can also invite Aluminox on a Zoom conversation like this to share their practice and to talk about the things they do. Yeah, just to keep inspiring ourselves collectively and reminding ourselves that we have a, a responsibility as artists, as collectives, and as collaborators. So that is my last um, submission to everyone. And I'm wishing you all a wonderful night, a wonderful transition into another day. Um, those who are still in the, in the day, a wonderful transition into the evening and enjoy everything. See you, John, later. <laughs> See you later, bye. Bye.